I'm not a lawyer, but rapper Little Dirk has been arrested for M for higher charges. And a few of y'all said y'all wanted to recap, so let's get into it. So Dirk, whose real name is Dirk Devontae Banks, was arrested in Florida by the U.S. Marshals on Thursday night. And although I don't have his indictment yet, his arrest seems to be connected to the five OTF members who were indicted last week. And I have that indictment, so let's go through it. There's a lot of names and nicknames, so bear with me. The indictment for the five OTF members has five charges, and I'm going to highlight the first two. Number one, conspiracy and use of interstate facilities to commit big M for hire, resulting in death, use, carry, and discharge of firearms and machine weapon, and possession of such firearms in furtherance of a crime of violence resulting in death. The indictment says that the five defendants in this indictment, Kavon Grant, DeAndre Wilson, Keith Jones, David Lindsay, and Asa Houston, I don't know if I said the first name right, were members or associates of an organization called Only the Family or OTF. And this organization produced and sold music from artists primarily from the Chicago area. The indictment goes on to tell the story of King Von's death, saying that four years ago in 2020, there was an altercation in Atlanta involving a high-ranking OTF member and a man with the initials TB, which appears to be Taekwon Terrell Bowman, aka Quando Rondo. So during the altercation, one of Quando Rondo's associates pulled out a weapon resulting in the death of a man with the initials DB. And DB seems to stand for Devon Daquan Bennett, aka King Von. So to make sure you're keeping up, according to this indictment, there's King Von, Dirk, and OTF over here. Get into an altercation with Quando Rondo's people over here. As a result of that altercation, King Von is unalive. After the death of King Von, the indictment says that co-conspirator number one, whoever that is, made clear in coded language that they would pay a bounty or a monetary reward and or make payment to anyone who took part in the killing of TB for his role in King Von's unaliving. And again, TB seems to be Quando Rondo. So fast forward two years later, the indictment says that on August 18th, 2022, co-conspirators in this case learned that Quando Rondo was staying at a hotel in Los Angeles. Four defendants in this case and co-conspirator number two, whoever that is, traveled from Chicago to LA and the fifth defendant named in this case traveled to LA on a private jet for the purpose of unaliving Quando Rondo. It says that on August 19th, 2022, they used two vehicles to track, stalk, and attempt to kill TB by gunfire, but instead ended up unaliving his cousin, Savier Robinson. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Who was also in the car. Now, a little further down in the indictment, it says that co-conspirator number one, whoever that is, would place bounties on individuals that co-conspirator number one and other OTF members wanted to be not alive anymore. And goes over the overt acts. In total, there are 28 overt acts. If you've been keeping up with YSL, you know that overt acts are actions that are done to further or accomplish the overall goal of the conspiracy. Overt acts don't have to be crimes, but they certainly can be. As an example, in this case, the goal or object of the conspiracy, according to the prosecutors, was to unalive TB, aka Quando Rondo. And overt act number 13 says that on August 18, 2022, defendant Grant purchased four black ski masks from a sporting goods store in Los Angeles County using cash. So again, purchasing some ski masks from a store is not a crime, but the government is saying it's an overt act because those masks, according to them, were used in the actual unaliving. There's also over act number 20, which says that on August 19th, 2022, using a BMW and Infinity, defendants and co-conspirator number two followed and tracked Quando Rondo's black Escalade to a clothing store located on Melrose Avenue in West Hollywood, California. Below Low images show the BMW and Infinity following behind Black Escalade in which Rondo Rondo and his cousin were passengers. Now, an example of a criminal overt act is Act Number 23, which says that on August 19, 2022, at the Beverly gas station, two of the defendants and co-conspirator Number Two used the firearms that they received from Defendant Grant to shoot at. Quando Rondo's car, resulting in the death of his cousin, SR. And the final overt act listed in this indictment is number 28, which says that following the death of Javier Robinson, defendant Wilson paid defendant Jones and Lindsay on behalf of another co-conspirator for their role in this conspiracy. I don't recommend you commit any crimes because I don't wanna make an I'm not a lawyer but video about you. However, taking an airplane to go commit a crime is a choice. It is also being reported that Dirk was scheduled to take a private jet to Italy before he was arrested in Florida and they arrested him while he was on his way to the airport.
He also had booked flights to Dubai, Switzerland, but, but didn't get on either of those planes. So that is the current indictment against the five members of OTF. Dirk is not listed on this indictment as a defendant, but being that he is charged with the big M for hire, the assumption is that he may be one of these unnamed co-conspirators. So we'll see when I can get my hands on his indictment, but that's where we are for now. And just that quick, we got the full complaint against Dirk. And ciao. I'm not a lawyer, but let's talk about it. Now, if you watched my last video, you remember how I said co-conspirator number one, whoever that is? Well, this complaint says co-conspirator number one is Dirk. Just to be clear, this complaint is the United States of America versus Dirk Banks. We talk in federal. It alleges that Dirk is the leader of the Chicago-based rap collective known as Only the Family or OTF. But it says that in addition to operating as a music group, OTF is a group of individuals who quote, engage in violence, including the big M and assault, all under the direction of Dirk and in order to maintain their status in the OTF group. It goes on to say that witness interviews have been conducted and according to this footnote, witnesses and or family members of witnesses have been threatened relating to their participation in this investigation. This complaint says that evidence will show that Dirk ordered a hit on TB and used OTF related finances to carry it out, including the flights being purchased by a credit card linked to Dirk and OTF. And it also alleges that a phone number associated with Dirk texts another co-conspirator, quote, don't book no flights under no names involved with me. It says ski mask and hotel rooms were all purchased with a credit card that was in Dirk's name. This complaint also notes that earlier this morning, as in today, federal and local law enforcement executed multiple search warrants at locations associated with OTF members in and around the Chicago area. They arrested Grant, Wilson, Jones, Lindsay, and Houston, the five defendants from the other indictment, and after executing those warrants, the FBI learned that Dirk Banks had been booked on at least three international flights scheduled to leave the United States today. It says when Banks arrived near one of the departing airports, he was arrested by law enforcement personnel. Like the last indictment, this complaint goes on to retell the story of King Vaughn's death and mentions the close relationship between Dirk and Vaughn. It says after Vaughn's death, Dirk Banks placed a monetary bounty, AKA a hit, on TB's life. According to the federal agent that investigated this, they say that OTF members learned of TB's location from a longtime OTF affiliate and that there's surveillance video taken from numerous locations throughout Los Angeles that show that two vehicles followed behind the Escalade that TB was in for hours leading up to the incident. It also says that there's surveillance video that will show vehicle number two parked in an alley behind the gas station and then three people wearing black masks exit that vehicle, walk to the gas station, and then open fire on the Escalade that TB and his cousin was in. Those three people then ran back to vehicle two that was parked in the alley and drove away. Meanwhile, vehicle number one that was with that second vehicle drove away just minutes before the incident. This complaint also includes information regarding Dirk's international flights that they say were booked. It says that the FBI received notification from the U.S. Customs and Border Protection that Dirk Banks had been booked as a passenger on two international flights. The first was a one-way flight from Miami to Dubai, and the second was a one-way flight from Fort Lauderdale to Switzerland connecting in New Jersey. The docs say Dirk did not board either of those flights, but then the FBI received additional notification that Dirk had been booked as a passenger on a private plane departing Miami and destined for Italy, scheduled to depart at 9 p.m. And so they pulled up around 8 p.m. and arrested him around the airport. So in conclusion, this doc says for all the reasons we've just gone through, there is probable cause to believe that Dirk Banks did engage in a conspiracy to use interstate facilities to commit the big M for hire resulting in death. Anytime you cross state lines, you talk in federal, just so we're clear.